What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number 13 of my Rise to Fame Ultimate Team series. Today guys we've got a pack opening and I'm going to explain to you exactly why I've got a, a huge pack opening and where I got the Microsoft, not the Microsoft points, the FIFA points from, uh, just very briefly. So there is a company called electronicfirst.com and they sponsor the the bigger YouTubers by giving them free points or pounds in terms of PlayStation guys and for me they give me £35 free Per month, which is sweet, it allows me around six and a half thousand FIFA points, and uh, in um, for for them, all I have to do is leave a link for them in the description. But it's also a pretty good deal because I get a lot of people asking me where can you buy PlayStation Network cards and Microsoft points from. And Electronic First guys are a very solid company. They they give you the codes instantly. You can do it. You can pay by debit card, pay by PayPal. And uh, it's a pretty sweet, uh, pretty sweet way to get some some Microsoft points or some PlayStation pounds. I don't even know what they're called, PSN pounds or anything. Um, and you get discounts as well if you buy uh, often and in bulk. So uh, go and check them out if you do want to buy these uh, these cards from them. But if not, then you do not have to. Um, but what I wanted to talk about, guys, is mainly this series, this Rise to Fame series. One of the main things I wanted to do, which I talked about in the first couple of episodes was get every single item in the game. Now this won't probably won't include informs because that will just be crazy too much trading. Uh, but with 35 pounds a week worth of packs, it should make for some really good pack opening videos and should help me get some really, you know, a lot of the items that I'm going to be needing. Uh, obviously it allows me to open, you know, probably a few hundred packs a week somewhere like that. I, I don't really know the actual price. I, I suppose it's about a pound a pack, isn't it? So maybe only like 30 odd packs a week, depending on unless I go for the gold, for the silvers or bronzes, which I will be going through all of them eventually just to try and get those little items that I don't have. But if I do get any duplicates, guys, what I'll tend to do is put the duplicates up for 150 uh, coin start price. This is PlayStation 3, of course. And if I get duplicates of good players, so anyone worth more than sort of 10 or 15,000 coins, I will give them away to you guys. So I'm not going to sell them to the public. I'm not going to get coins for them. I'm just going to give them to you guys. And uh, hopefully you would enjoy the little giveaway here or there as well. Uh, one of the other things I want to do with this series, guys, uh, which I've been thinking about a lot, is just to show you everything. So I was going to use this, these like the this money from Electronic First to use on a different account and just have a team where I do squad builders and stuff on there. But what I'm going to do, guys, is kind of push all the series into one huge series. So whenever I build a new squad for my Rise to Fame series, I'll make that a squad builder and then play a game with it afterwards. Now the only thing is that leaves leaves us short for one series, and that's Ruin a Randomer. And the reason why I can't do Ruin a Randomer is because you'll be able to see the team and the record that I've got on this Rise to Fame series well ahead of time because of course you're seeing uh, me after playing 12 games, oh, sorry, winning 12 games and losing 9 but I'm actually, I've played like around 36 or 37 games on this account now so I'm actually well ahead of where you are so we can either do one or two things, We can I can create a new account and just transfer players over to it to play one game with them and then transfer back and do the Ruin a Random like that or when I do Ruin a Random, I can use the team but not really show you any of the records or anything and kind of block out anything that might give away where I am in my Ultimate Team series right now. But if I do use Ruin a Random and I have a huge player, like let's say I do Ruin a Random and have Ronaldo in the team and you haven't seen that yet on the Rise to Fame episode, you're going to know that I get Ronaldo somehow. Um, so I really do wish if you guys could give me some ideas on how to do this, whether it's best just to create another account and do it with there because I'm missing playing the Ruin and Random series. I really enjoy that, and you guys are asking for it a hell of a lot, which is awesome. It's really nice when you uh, when you kind of want a series. And uh, in the comment section as well, guys, I had a lot of requests for the Be a Pro Offline series again today because I uploaded Ultimate Team, and this, of course, is another Ultimate Team video. So if we get 3,000 likes on this video, guys, I'll put a bonus episode up of Become a Legend tonight at 10 o'clock. If we don't manage to get 3,000 likes, guys, I will put the episode up tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So it really is up to you guys whether or not you want to see it. And, uh, yeah, these packs that I've got so far, guys, there's nothing amazing in them. I'm going to use the players in them to start building other teams, maybe some hybrid teams, maybe just some national teams and uh, whatnot. And hopefully I will get a, a few real nice players. But that guy there, the left midfield, John, he seems to be pretty sweet. 90 pace and 4-star skills with a 4-star weak foot. And, of course, the contracts and, and whatnot come in really handy with the injury cards and the fitness cards and stuff. That's definitely something that is always very, very useful. 
If you guys are short on contracts right now, there are so many on the market. I suggest you go and buy up a whole bunch of them. You can get them for 250 to 300 coins, and uh, I, I I expect them to rise to like six, seven hundred coins over the coming months. So it really would be uh, beneficial to you guys to pick up as many as you can. And if you want to imp increase your consumables and trade pile to store these sort of things, then use your uh, Use your EAFC points to go and buy those that extra space in your consumable and trade piles just so you can store those things up. So we're coming to the end of the episode now, guys. Another pack with another absolutely useless bunch of players. Haven't really been getting much at all, not even with formation cards and whatnot. Uh, I ended up discarding, guys, the, uh, the attribute cards. I don't really use them. So uh, I, I did start putting them in my club, but I thought, no, I'm, you know, I'm not here to use those. So I will instead discard them get the few coins back for them but you'll see that in a future episode but guys thank you very much for watching if you could hit that like button it would be absolutely amazing and i will see you next time cheers